Hello guys, my name is Almost Addicted and today I'm going to show you how to build a secret underground base. Now, you don't need a seed for this, uh, the seed for this world, uh, I don't know, I've forgotten, I'm sorry, um, don't judge me. Look at all this funny text stuff here, look at that, does that tell you anything? I have no clue. But anyway, we are going to build it. Maybe if you guys want like a mountain or cliff house, you see that right behind me, that over there, that big mountain thing, maybe we could make a base in that later. But without further ado, I think we should go for three likes on this video. Yeah, pushing the boat out here. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna dig down and um, why why is that changed? I don't know. What we do is find a nice empty space and we're gonna, of course, have to dig down. Now, it doesn't matter how far we dig down, we could dig down a fair bit, I'd say about this much or something, like that, something like that. Now what we're going to use, we're going to use some spruce for this and this is going to be all the way up here so we can of course get our ladder going down. Now if you want to keep it secret and hidden away, you could maybe put a block at the top so people can't see it and then you can replace it. So um, what you could do here is have something like that these and then you can remove that and have your ladders going all the way down obviously you'd be in a different place and um, maybe you could put a tree there and put a tree perhaps here or something there we go we've got a tree there right so this is all hidden away and then you can kind of dig away the tree I'll probably put it there actually it's probably easier uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this down and then we're gonna work on the underground base now it's entirely up to you how deep you want to go and um, but I'm gonna go I don't know I'd say 20 blocks down or something like that. I think that should work quite well. I'm gonna dig out maybe um, 20 by 20 radius and we'll do it about five high. So that's two, three, four, five. So we'll dig all that out and we'll actually put, um, yeah, I'll come back once I've done that. No, 21, 21 by 21, because obviously we've got this going up, yeah. Okay. okay, so we should have something like this. Now I've decided to go one, two, three, four, five, six high. Um, I've done the six high because I'm actually gonna fill the ceiling in with a spruce. So the spruce is gonna obviously go around here and then it's gonna fill in. So what I'm gonna do here, right, uh, I'll make it quick because I'm gonna do it in world edit, but obviously you guys are gonna fill it in. Obviously for the tutorial, it's unnecessary for me to do it. So set five dash one, is that correct? It certainly is. Um, thank goodness for that. Right, so obviously I've got this going up like that. So we've got that. I think for the floor we should go for maybe an oak. So I'm gonna go to here and here and fill it in with the oak. So slash slash set five dash. Oh, there we go. So we've got the oak. Now for the walls, what I'm deciding to do, right? We should do this just to make it a little bit better. Now all the way around the ridge of the wall. Oh, I hate gravel. Um, I'm gonna put this cobblestone going around the whole build just so it doesn't look plain, you know So I'm gonna do that all the way around and then we can work on the rest of it. Oh Yeah, and we'll fill all the wall in with this spruce wood here So this part here will all be filled in with spruce. It's a fairly big base. So uh, yeah, it should Be awesome for survival. Okay, so we've got this filled in and we've got a nice space now This is what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna go like this this and this and I'm gonna have one space in between. Now, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to, but I'm thinking something like this, going all the way to the end. So I'm gonna go like this in threes. And then what I'm gonna do is grab some glowstone, glow, and we're gonna need some trap doors as well on this baby. Let's get some trap doors on this baby. Yeah, slap it in there. Get those slapped in, and then obviously we'll put the trap doors on the top like that. Just letting our light in. We'll go all the way to the back and we'll speed this little bit up. Let's see how it looks. Obviously, when we get to the end here, um, we're going to have a space here. So you can leave that up to there. So we've got the two gap on the wall because I'm going to actually put some stuff against the wall. So it doesn't matter so much. Okay, so we've got those filled in, and this is for a reason, because what we're going to do down the side of this, I'm going to run at this going all the way across here, and then it gets to this end here, and we can kind of fill it in. And then we're going to do exactly the same, so running down the side of it, and then we can get some of our oak stuff. Now, with my dens and stuff and bases, I like to make them look good as well as everything else, you know. Um, so, using the resources, uh, it might be resource heavy sometimes, but it's to make it look good, you know. Um, so here, this is what I'm thinking. 
let's put the portal dead center here. So I'm gonna grab my obsidian. I'll come back once I've done this. Now, because I'm quite symmetric when I'm doing stuff like this, I'm gonna do it like this, right? So it's using more obsidian, but it works. It looks symmetric, so I'm happy with that. So we'll fill that in, boom, up like that. Now across the top here, what we can use is some of these trapdoors going across here. And we can actually cover it all up with trapdoors so we don't have that obsidian look. I kind of don't like the obsidian. Um, I kind of like to make it look a bit more presentable, a bit more pretty. Um, now up the side here we can of course use our cobblestone wall. Get our cobblestone wall and then we can use some oak fence. We're going to use the oak fence for something else as well. So we'll put one here, one here. Have our oak going up the top. And this oak is going to go across the top of the ceiling here to make it look pretty, pretty nice. Going all the way across here and we can actually bring it down. But what we can do here, we can do the same as what we've done at the other side where we go like this, grab our cobblestone like this going up. Now a lot of this is unnecessary but people are going to come across your build and go um, wow that actually looks quite good um, instead of just like keeping it simple all the time. Sometimes it's good to make your bases worth living in for a bit longer you know. Uh, that's what I like to do anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do this up the side. So this is where you come through here. And then of course, I'm just going to grab some torches. We're going to need to light up a little bit. And then across the bottom here and here. Now at the side here, what we can do, we can use this space for either our chests or we can use it for furnaces. But I'm going to use it for furnaces so we can kind of use the whole space up there. So we've got place for there. Now I would use this for storage so we can go like this. We can get our storage going all the way up to the top. I'm going to do it at both sides just to be symmetric. You can actually take out that up the top there. You can stick some lights in as well just so it lights it up a little bit better like that. And then we can do the same at the other side keeping symmetric. Um, I just kind of like to keep things symmetric. I just think it looks a heck of a lot better. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the torches up there and up here as well. I hope you're having a good weekend anyway, by the way. I'm, I'm trying to do uh, different builds and different sort of variety of builds uh, for everybody. Hopefully, people enjoy. And say that you've got a friend over, you can have a crafting table at both sides. Obviously, it's unnecessary to have two crafting tables. But yeah, now here, I'm going to put cobblestone here and a cobblestone here. Now what we can do is we can get our brewing stand, so brew And I'm going to put two brewing stands on each side. So obviously you can be brewing whatever you are going to be brewing down here. And it'll still look good. So we've got our brewing stands there. Now we can kind of seal this off if you want this little bit here. So I'd have a gap of one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth one, we can run this going all the way across until we are level with this. So we can kind of come up and join it there. And then we can leave that gap, start where that one is, bring it up to the top like that. And we can bring this across here. Now, if you would like, you can kind of take this up the wall and over. So it joins into there. So we've got that little divider there. We can do the same here at this side, like this. Bring this up, like that torch out of the way. And um, obviously you can put torches all over this place. Now here, um, this is what we can do just to kind of give it a little bit of design, but we can kind of use it as usable space as well. Um, I'm gonna put the thing about here. So we can still use the bottom and we can use the top for a shelf as well. Um, so you can hang whatever shelving systems you like, even if you just kind of wanna do use it as um, maybe some place for your plants or something, even though it's silly. Play ahead, stuff like that, up the top shelf, just kind of for decoration more than anything. Just see so your base looks pretty cool and then across here do exactly the same and then we can decide what we can use in here now i'm thinking what else would we need for survival maybe we need the enchantment table of course and then um maybe some armor stands so you could keep your armor stands on here i could maybe do it like this we can put our armor stands across here and here and then we can grab this and then turn this into a full block so it kind of supports it on like that. Put the same across here. And if you want to kind of like enclose it in, you can kind of do this sort of thing. 
even though it's not necessary, um, it probably just adds a little bit to the build, I guess. Like that, we do the same round here. Adding to that design so it kind of looks pretty awesome. And what you can do, say if you want like little shelves and stuff, you can do something like this, you know. Um, you can obviously put stuff behind it. Just for design and patterns, um, you can actually use it to store things behind it. So say that you wanted um, secret chests back here, you know. Only you know about, so they're kind of hidden away, but you can still use it as usable space. So we put another one up there. So we've got two secret chests here and here. Maybe where you can keep your valuable stuff. I wouldn't light it up so it's like people don't look around and go, hmm, I know what that is. Um, okay, so up the side here, we're going to do something at this side and at the other side, we'll do something different. Now, this is what I'm going to do for this. It's going to look awesome, right? Prepare yourself. Um, okay, so I'm going to go up the side here, making sure there's two spaces in between. I'll just grab a torch to light up a little bit better. Like this. Okay. So we keep doing this until we reach the other side like this now this is where we're going to dig that out dig that out dig that out we can actually dig this whole wall out here because we're going to be using this and we can also light it up as well so it's kind of usable space now this is for like when you've got visitors coming in and it just gives it that survival bunker sort of feel by doing this and um, we could probably keep this one actually here and um, We'll leave that there. So behind here, what you can do is you can get torches, or if you would like, you could grab some glowstone. Obviously, you wouldn't put this much glowstone. It's unnecessary. But just to light it up, I'm going to fill in all these back walls with glowstone. And then what I'm going to do is get some kind of chests in front. So what you can do is you can put torches behind there and stuff like that, you know. But yeah, I'm going to fill it with glowstone and then fill all those things with chests. Now you're probably wondering why we've put all these chests here. Now check this out. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. Where we put all our beds here and then the next layer, we're gonna have to put it on here. And then we can place our beds going across. You've gotta make sure it's at the height so you can just put your bed on. So um, can we actually put one there and still get a bed on? Let's see. No, it's gotta be one higher so it's at this height here and then we can place our bed on there yeah so this going all the way across making sure you can get your bed on and then the next level would be here I think and then you can get loads of bed space it's kind of like underground bunker feel and um, obviously it's a lot of beds but if you've got a lot of friends and a lot of people staying around it's necessary but you can still use all these chests that are behind there which is quite cool um, what I would do for this is I would get some ladders, get these going up so people can actually still get into here like this. And we've got loads more decorations to do, but that looks awesome. It's nice and lit up. And um, yeah, we can maybe, what we can maybe do here is get this going around here. It doesn't matter how long you want it. You can kind of have it like to here maybe and just have it into the wall. And then you can do maybe a farm here. So you could have a farm where you have to kind of walk around. You can still use your bunk bed. And um, so I'm going to fill this in. So slash slash set grass slash set grass. So we've got like grass and then obviously you would do your farm however you do your farm and place whatever you like. So obviously your water source, you would get your who then and who the damn thing. Um, I'm trying to find all my tools here. Who? And then we would have some uh, bone meal. And I'm just going to use wheat for an example. But obviously you can use whatever farming materials you've got. You can have pumpkin farms. You can have some, um, what is it called? Sugar cane and stuff like that. Let's fill all this in. Obviously you need to light this up a little bit better. Um, so you can have something like this. This could be a, like a light source that comes over. And then you could have your glowstone or you can have your torches like this, you know, have your torches going across. If you haven't got glowstone, you don't want to go full out with your glowstone. You can still use this like this. 
and hopefully we can get all these seeds in like this yeah because uh, when you're underground you need it well lit and uh, otherwise it's just not going to work so you could have a tree farm underneath here as well if you wanted to add to it but just remember you just got to have it nice and lit up otherwise it just doesn't work so we've got a nice little farm at the side here if you want this kind of going up to the ceiling and um, you can do that if you want to add to it by adding some of this going across as more of a support this coming down maybe some chests at the side maybe you want um, more place for storage more furnaces maybe you have a little furnace area going down here have your chest going down here you know you can kind of mix and match it then at the side you could do something like this it's more for decoration but it kind of makes your build look quite cool you could add that and a pressure plate so it's just a fence pressure plate on top you can add little chairs about the area and um, say that you wanted to decorate it a little bit more by having little chairs so you'd have something like a big chair going across here and then you could maybe use um, trapdoors at the side of it or you can use signposts you can change this it doesn't have to be an oak one so it matches in with the floor as much now at this side I'm thinking we'll get our bookshelves out enchantment table now you can put it wherever you like um, one two three one two three one two three diagonal it back here you can have it resting against the wall and then what you can do is just have it enclosed in here so you're still using it at the side it kind of looks like it's part of a bookshelf you can have it inwards like this so it doesn't look like it's just an enchantment table you can use it for other usable space as well take a hole out here or something like that and then you can put a torch down here just to keep it lit and then you can put your um, what is it wooden trapdoor on there and then we have got our enchantment table crouch down place it on there we've got usable space if you want it enclosed you can have it enclosed like that have this enclosed there going off to the side and then what you can do is have maybe a staircase coming down from here I would probably use the spruce spruce coming down there down there you can obviously fill these bits in if you want more of a border so you don't fall off you can have something like that and then you've got like a little top part where you could maybe put whatever you like up here and let's get this going all the way down here so we've got this usable space up here now you could have this as um, maybe a place for your anvils you can decorate it. you've got like an ender chest up here it's just kind of little ideas that you've uh, got like that you can use I don't know um, like that that little bush at the side you can maybe have your ender chest that you come up and collect from here and um, there's so much you can do let's put this here light this up a little bit obviously if there is any dark spots you can light it up make it look pretty and um, but you can start to decorate it by um, putting unnecessary things now like um, say do something like this you could get your pistons have a little table here I'm just gonna use redstone blocks but you can use redstone torches to lift the pistons up and of course you can use whatever um, you like for tables if you wanted to use a cobblestone instead you know something like this You've got a nice little table there you, I think you can put cakes on them now or something get yourself a little cake you've got a little banquet here that's a lot of cake you know maybe you're hungry I don't know I'm not judging and um, but so far I think that's quite pretty cool you can maybe hide some other chests like at the back here you've got like a secret spot here that's good get some carpets down in the place and of course maybe you could do something like this um, instead of that bit there you could have something like um, do, 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 do. In, say that you want one stand here this is an example that you could do um, in fact we'll do these but we'll remove the armor stand so instead of the armor stands what we could use is soul sand and then of course we've got a place for a soul sand um, if I can find it yeah soul sand 
get our soul sand in there. We can get a never warts farm going. Nether warts. If I can find it. There we go. It's finding stuff all the time, man. Something like that, you know? And then you could have maybe this that goes down into another mine. So maybe this is where you go mining down into your world. Light it up properly. And then you could maybe, um, I don't know, just put like a little top here. But obviously you've got to get through there. You don't have to do it there. You could have a two mine going down. You could have a mine coming from this area here. So it's out of the way. You know, bring it down. You can kind of mess around with it. Do what you like. Um, but something like that I think works. And then that means you can just kind of have um, something over the top like that. You could have this coming down the sides decorate it however you like and because it's underground and stuff what you can do is add like little bits of bushes vines like vines coming down in areas maybe some vines coming off here so it kind of gives it like a, an underground feel now i'll show you how you can kind of make it feel like it's more underground and this is kind of by adding little bushes coming up the sides maybe some from the ceiling maybe if you just want kind of some bushes coming up here wiggling round you can do that or this is what you can do take random patches out seems random but it gives it more of a, a moody sort of feel to the build I'll show you what I mean now this is what we can do we're gonna get some dirt blocks grass blocks whatever you can spread your grass going down so you can actually use grass and then we can get something like bone meal and then just kind of fill it in with grass so it still feels underground you can use um, stairs instead something like that I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit different than you are probably used to for underground bases I've seen quite a lot of them and they, they all look the same so I thought I'd do something a little bit out of the ordinary um, let's see something like this right so when you get your bone meal and put it on it kind of gives it an inside feel it doesn't have to be flowers you can have too high have these decorated like it's kind of come through the wall it gives it that sort of ethos lab sort of feel to it and then you can have like hanging baskets and stuff like that it's like an inside survival i guess there you go and then obviously you can have them trailing from down here you can have them coming down here torches coming from places there you go you've got an underground base and it really does work quite well i feel um, but yeah, you can have like holes in the ceiling where you could have some stuff kind of dangling down. You can even have them dangling down from there if you don't want those trapdoors on. Some coming down from here and here. Um, but there you go, guys. I really hope you enjoy. Make sure you slap the like button and I will definitely do more like this. Definitely comment down below uh, if you like this sort of stuff. And I will definitely, definitely do more because I've been doing a lot of houses lately. So I'd like to do a lot more underground bases, but hopefully you enjoy it and I shall catch you in the next video. Peace.